Here I have a clip of me looking at the camera, let's open it in the Fusion page and grab Image Plane 3D, Merge 3D, Render of 3D and Camera of 3D nodes. Reconnect MIDI and one node to the green input of Image Plane 3D and the rest of the nodes as usual. Connect Camera 3D to Merge 3D node. Go to Inspector window and drag Z value till you see the full image. Cool, select MIDI in one node, shift space and type in duplicate. We are gonna use this duplicate node with a rectangular mask to create our main effect. Connect rectangular mask to duplicate node, select duplicate and enable multiply by mask checkbox. Now you can see that our image is masked with our rectangular mask. But we are still missing our main clip. So let's drag another image plane 3D node and connect MIDI in one node to this new image plane node green input and image plane to merge node. Now if you select image plane 3D to which has connected our duplicate and change the value in the transform window, you can see we have both duplicated and original image. Now you can adjust rectangular shape to your liking and place it closer to your subject. If you select duplicate node, you are able to change position and size inside the mask. Ok, let's quickly animate the value of image plane 3D node so it zooms out. Ease keyframes in spline editor. Let's also animate camera movement. Select camera 3D node, step on 85th frame, set keyframe on Z value, go to the first frame and change Z value to your liking. So it has a nice zoom animation. Cool, now let's add a drop shadow effect. Select duplicate node, shift space and apply drop shadow. Change parameters to your liking. When the duplicated image is at the end of its movement, animate drop shadow distance and strength so it nicely disappearing. Set keyframe to drop shadow distance and strength. Go back to around 5 frames, set it again. Go back to 40th frame and set them to 0. Ease drop shadow keyframes. Now let's add a little bit of distortion to our clone. Select drop shadow node and apply lens distortion effect. As you can see, it's bending the image. Let's also animate it. Step on the 35th frame, set distortion to your liking, go to 40th frame and set it to 0. I'm gonna reset it to 1 and ease keyframes. Cool, now let's add a flash effect to our clone. Select duplicate node and apply color corrector node. Step on the 12th frame, set keyframe on lift, go to 6th frame and set it to 1. Ease the keyframes and drag the right slider to the left like so. Now we have flash effect, but we also need to animate opacity of the clone, so it appears with the flash effect. But I will just quickly animate rectangular width value instead. Perfect. Once you are done with the one clone, you can duplicate all of the six nodes and connect it to our node tree with media in one node and merge 3D node. Now just change size and position of our mask and also shift the animation so it looks not the same as the first clone. Select the nodes you need by holding the command or control and enable show only selected tool in the keyframe editor. Now you can see only the keyframes of the nodes you have selected. I will align keyframes to the image plane 3D zoom animation. When you are done with duplicating all the clones, you will have something like this. Great, now let's add some effects to our scene. And we are gonna apply them all after render of 3D node. 
I will add a film grain first, adjust parameters to your liking. I would also like to add a prism blur effect and connect a circular mask to it. Invert the mask so the effect is not affecting the subject face and increase soft edge. Cool, and the last effect is Lens Distortion. You can apply Lens Distort if you have a free version of DaVinci Resolve. I will animate distortion from minus 0.4 to 0. And we are gonna need to add a transform node to add a zoom animation so we don't see these borders. Select Lens Distortion node and change Edge Behavior to Replicate or Reflect. Ease keyframes. Let's see what we have in the edit page. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. And you can also visit my store to get some nice drag and drop presets for DaVinci Resolve. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.